Jonathan Goodwin, Amanda Abington's fiancé, has spoken out following the announcement of the results of her strictly investigation into Giovanni Pernis. After receiving multiple complaints about his behavior from his former celebrity partner Amanda, 50, the professional dancer, 34, departed the show. He has now joined the cast of Bolando con Lustel, an Italian adaptation of the show. Six of the 17 claims were upheld by the BBC, some of which involved Mr. Pernice's use of profanity. The investigation noted that his rhetoric could be belittling. The BBC concurred with Amanda that he seemed to be providing her unduly critical remarks at times. On Wednesday, Joan then posted a picture of Amaneda and him meeting Princess and on Instagram. In the caption he wrote, What an amazing woman. I've never met someone who is so committed to doing the right thing. To stand up for the underprivileged and never give in to pressure from the media. The Princess Royal is equally stunning. Amanda and former escapologist and stunt performer Jonathan began dating in 2021 and were rumored to have got engaged in May last year. This comes after Amanda disclosed that she had a meeting of fellow Strictly Come Dancing competitors in her residence to exchange tales of their experiences with the show's treatment. The actress added that when talking about their experiences working with Giovanni, she and the other celebrities started crying. She went on to say that she is thinking about taking more legal action against the BBC after the corporation apologized to her for Giovanni's mistreatment. Amanda talked about how she lost all sense of reality in the practice room during an interview that aired on Newsnight on Wednesday. She claimed she caught up with other celebs who had previously teamed with Pernis on the BBC show. Amanda claimed, We all cried, we all burst into tears, revealing that she had invited the group to her residence. We just wanted to make sure that this wasn't something that happened to us and that we were alone. It wasn't pleasant, and it wasn't what everyone else was going through in the other rehearsal rooms, was the consensus from everyone I spoke with. When asked how she will move forward now that the report has been released, the actress said on Newsnight that she is taking guidance from my lawyer on a day-to-day -day basis. The celebrity said on Newsnight that her experience working with Giovanni had been the hardest she had ever faced. It has been one of the hardest years of my life, I have been through a lot, ladies go through a lot, she said. Just for complaining, I have had to deal with a plethora of horrible things that have continued to happen. Now that the much-awaited decision was made public on Monday, clearing Giovanni of the most serious charges of physical aggression, while upholding verbal bullying and harassment, one of Giovanni's transgressions can be made public. Giovanni, meanwhile, expressed his satisfaction at being exonerated of threatening and abusive behavior. The report also detailed how they had upheld six of Ms. Abington's 17 complaints. The study claimed that Mr. Pernis, a perfectionist, was using what could be defined as disparaging language and swearing, actions that amounted to bullying. The BBC apologized to the former Sherlock actress and also praised her for coming forward to address her issues. The Italian dancer was found to have used derogatory language by investigators during the six-month probe which cost license fee payers upwards of £250,000. He once quipped, I'm tired of it. It doesn't matter if you want to look as asterisk asterisk asterisk. The panel also supported Ms. Abington's complaint that Mr. Pernis would become irate with her when training her to dance. It is revealed, though, that he said to her, You have tremendous skill and you're not using it. He also said, I don't know how to ask you anymore and it was ruled inappropriate behavior when he informed her. It's been four days and I don't know what to do, in two separate comments. Mr. Pernis, 34, lost control again and yelled, F asterisk 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 asterisk, as he demonstrated a dance for her. Meanwhile, the allegation that the Sicilian-born ballroom star had also given negative comments was upheld, one example of which was him flinging his arms in the air and yelling F asterisk asterisk asterisk. Consequently, the BBC informed Mr. Pernis that he had not sufficiently adjusted to Ms. Abington's needs. One of the two sexually explicit accusations that were upheld was Mr. Pernis grabbing his crotch and saying something offensive. It was also revealed to his dancing partner that he wanted to f asterisk 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 her. That remark was made after Ms. Abington had impressed Mr. Pernis with a brilliant maneuver in the training studio. Although the BBC refuted numerous grave accusations made by Ms. Abington, they did express regret to her. The BBC has now ended its review into the charges made by Amanda Abington against Giovanni Pernis, 
The statement issued on Monday stated, After reviewing the complaints we have upheld a portion of them, but not all of them. We would like to express our regret to Amanda Abington and express our gratitude for her participation. We are aware that this would not have been a simple task. As the BBC has indicated today in its statement, my decision to come out and complain about Giovanni Pernas's conduct towards me was not an easy one to make, Ms. Abington responded. Since reaching out to the BBC, I've faced accusations of lying, being a troublemaker, and being mentally ill and unstable. In April, the BBC opened an investigation into Mr. Pernas following a formal complaint from Ms. Abington. It happened three months after she disclosed to a prominent daily that her time on Strictly had caused her to develop post-traumatic stress disorder. Mr. Pernis remarked, I'm glad the review has finally come to an end. In reference to the review's conclusion, that the claims that I was abusive and threatening turned out to be untrue relieves me. It has been a really trying year for me, having to read story after story without being allowed to respond because I had to uphold the integrity of the review which the BBC had requested everyone to do. I had a great time on Strictly and created some incredible memories. However, I am now totally committed to helping my dancing partner Bianca and competing in dancing with the stars in Italy. I'm thankful to everyone who has helped me during this difficult time. Without the love and support of my family, friends, co-workers and fans, I truly don't know how I would have made it through.